Hello and welcome to a new video. So today is going to be our pack with me for our Disneyland Paris trip. It is getting very, very close now and we are very excited. And the fact that we are packing the bag is just making it seem even more real. Uh, Helena normally does the pack with me videos, but we thought we would uh, shake things up a little bit. Uh, and so I'm going to do it. I'm going to talk through uh, all the things I'm taking, clothing items, talk a bit about like the electricals we're taking, things to do with the camera and maybe a little bit about documentation but i'm going to save all the stuff to do with the car for the separate video i'm going to do about driving to france and i'm going to do that once we get back because i'm thinking on the journey i can make notes and make it as up to date as possible and <laughs> the other reason why i'm doing it is because helena is well all done and dusted <laughs> I've got the case in front of me. I'm not really going to be showing it because uh, this room is still a mess from when we first moved in. And then we also have the case on the floor uh, ready to pack. Um, so yeah, Helena's side is all is all done. She's ready to go. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to put my side in now. Um, I might iron some of these things because they are a little bit creased. Also, if you notice that I'm perspiring, it's because it's 20 degrees. I've just looked at my weather app on my phone and I, <laughs> I thought it was hot, but wow. Speaking of weather, I was just looking here at the Disneyland Paris uh, location and what the weather's going to be like while we're there. And you've got 24 degrees, 27 degrees, 25 degrees, 23 degrees, 22 degrees. Yeah, it's going to be really warm. It's going to be really hot. It's going to remind us of the time when we went, uh, when did we go to Disneyland Paris during the summer? Was it June or July? Uh, one year. The, the first time that we went, we went in the summer where it was really hot. So um, also with it looking like it's going to be hot, I've had to make a, a few extra purchases in the summer clothing department. <laughs> so yeah, let's talk through what we got. So something that I love taking to uh, theme parks, caps. I used to wear caps a lot when I was a kid, uh, mainly because I was trying to copy my brother. <laughs> he used to wear them all the time. But then I got back into wearing them I think it was the 2018 uh, Walt Disney World trip. Uh, and then I really like themed caps. So uh, these ones that I'm showing you are from, I think they're essential caps. Yeah, it says inside. So I've got an Avengers one and it says Marvel Avengers inside. Uh, then I've got a Captain America one. I love this because you have the Captain America, the shield, it like sticks out with the cap. I've got this Indiana Jones one and I can't remember. Oh, actually my dad got it for me. I'm just seeing if I can see where it's from. Uh, I can't, but yeah, my dad, because I was talking to him about losing my Indiana Jones cap uh, that I got from Walt Disney World. And though this isn't the same cap, it's really cool that he got me an Indiana Jones cap to make up for that. And then also on the peak, I don't know if you'll be able to see from where you are, but it's got Indiana Jones inside. And then the other one I've got is this denim one. And it's like a baseball cap and it's got Disney on the front. So yeah, they'll all be coming with me. Uh, the hotel that we're staying at, it has a pool. And because we've always gone during the winter, uh, mostly, we've never ever used the pool. But with it being hot and with it the park being open till 11 o'clock at night, uh, those sort of midday uh, gaps that we take, we might be able to dip in the pool. So I'm gonna bring along my swim shorts that I got from uh, endless Summer. I got them from the Endless Summer shop. And so yeah, these are the shorts that I wore in Orlando. And they're gonna come with me to Disneyland Paris. And uh, let's have a look at, I'm just surrounded by things. <laughs> I'm bringing uh, two sets of pajamas. Uh, most stuff I'm bringing is themed. So we've got pajamas here. So these are Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Groot pajamas. Then you got the top there. I'm trying to remember where I got all these things and I'm failing miserably. Oh, hang on, character.com. So I might have got them from Amazon. So that's the top and then the bottoms. So they're long bottoms. They say Guardians of the Galaxy on them. And then the other set I'm bringing, again, Marvel themed. I'd love to stay in uh, Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel, but I mean, the pennies won't allow us at the moment. But yeah, we got these Marvel pajamas. There's the top. And they come with uh, some black shorts. Uh, in case 
I'm not doing these in a specific order. <laughs> I don't know if there's meant to be an order. Uh, in case we go somewhere and want to dress up a bit smarter, it's always good to pack a shirt. So this is the one that'll be coming with me. Although I have realized that I do need to buy more dress shirts. Let's do the boring bit. Underwear and socks. Uh, mainly trainer socks, because if it's going to be hot, uh, I like wearing trainer socks with my trainers. And then, like, with it being hot, with, there's always that element where you think the weather might, the weather app might be lying to you and that it's going to be colder than it says. So you've got to be prepared. You've got to bring along some jumpers. <laughs> and you also, you never know what the room's going to be like. Uh, so I'm bringing along my uh, spirit jerseys. So I've got my Disneyland Paris spirit jersey, the Lion King. I love this spirit jersey, I've worn it so much. And then I'm bringing along, I know it's not Disneyland Paris, it's uh, Walt Disney World. I got it on our latest trip, on our honeymoon trip. Uh, but I love it so much. It's so comfy and that's coming with me. Stitch. I got that from, I mean it was in loads of places, but the place I got it from was inside uh, the Polynesian Resort. Uh, then we've got, I'm bringing some comfy, comfy joggers. Uh, I might drive in those. I'm also bringing uh, some jeans. So I've got a grey pair of jeans there. And then, and then I've got your bog standard denim jeans as well. And then the fact that it's going to be warm, or I did have shorts, but the shorts, they don't fit me anymore. Um, so I've had to run out and I went to uh, Primark and I grabbed some denim shorts. So we went yesterday. Um, so yeah, these were eight pounds. And then I got these ones. And the reason I wanted them is because they've got a pocket on them. They've got a button pocket and then they've got a zip pocket. Uh, so yeah, I got these. These are really comfy. I tried them on. I am notorious for not trying things on before I leave the shop. <laughs> is anybody else with me? <laughs> um, but yeah, I did try them on. These were really comfy, so comfy that I went back to where they were and got another pair, which I'll show in a second, which are a different colour. And these were £15. Here's the other colour. <laughs> exactly the same shorts, same size. You've got the pocket and the zip, but they're like this uh, green colour. And they were £15 as well. I did look in Primark again for uh, Disney t-shirts, but for men, I harp on about this every time I talk about clothing. <laughs> There's never any. And uh, we've been sort of trying to save a bit of money, so I haven't bought any more uh, Disney t-shirts than what you've seen before, but I'm going to show them in a minute anyway. Um, but there are some great sites online uh, to buy t-shirts. Uh, one of my favourite places is Absolute Cult. Um, and then there's another one. I'll put down in the description the places that I've got t-shirts from before, in case you want to check them out. And then these shorts as well. These were really comfy. So I got these and they are £10. Okay, so now, oh, I, I forgot to mention in terms of like jumpers. I mean, this is more of a, this is just a long sleeve shirt rather than a jumper. Um, it's this white one that I bought to take along to uh, Walt Disney World. But then I got there and I was like, it's too hot to wear long sleeve shirt. So it says Mickey on the front with different expressions. And then you got Mickey and a number on the back. And I really like that one. So I'll bring that along to Paris. And then we're on to t-shirts. So you've probably seen these before. I'll try and remember where I got them. So here we've got a Mickey Mouse t-shirt. I believe this was from H&M. I love the color of this. And then you've got styling all day. Now my brother got me this shirt for a birthday and I don't, I can't see a label on it. Cause I know a few of you have asked me uh, where I've got some of these shirts from before and I've not been able to tell you, but maybe just type in what it says and it might come up if they're still around. Uh, so this shirt is Star Wars 1, Wookiee of the Year. <laughs> so I'm bringing that. Try and get some pickies with some Star Wars characters, hopefully. We do have uh, our bucket list uh, task, which is to try and meet five characters. So yeah, it'd be good to get some Star Wars pictures with that shirt. And then this is a favourite of mine. Did I get this? This might have been, was this Primark? Marvel t-shirt. And you've got all different characters on it. You've got Thor, Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America, Spider-Man. Now I know you're not supposed to wear black uh, when it's really sunny because obviously you're going to draw the, 
the sun in, but I just love this t-shirt so much and it fits really nice, so I'm gonna bring it along. And it's this one, and again, people have asked where I've got this t-shirt from before, and it was a present, so I'm not entirely sure. I have tried to search online for it. I think I put in Darth Vader Heavy Metal, uh, and I think a place did come up, but I, I can't remember where it was from. But yeah, there it is. It looks like Darth Vader's on a, a heavy metal uh, album cover. I mean, it might be inspired actually by an album cover already. If it is, let me know. Oh, that got me really excited for the Obi-Wan series. <laughs> Seen the trailer, it looks amazing. Oh, this is a favorite. I love me Coco. And here is a Coco shirt. Remember me. I love it so much. I need to watch that film again. It's got such a special place in my heart. Yeah, I love that one. Uh, where was this? This, oh, this was from Absolute Cult. So I've got to pay tribute to the classic characters and you know, for meeting Mickey Mouse or Minnie, then I think this is the perfect shirt for that. So we got Mickey and Minnie on there. A great pair. So sweet. But yeah, if there's any other sites uh, that aren't the sites that I've talked about in terms of getting t-shirts, uh, then let me know because I'm always on the hunt for, for more Disney inspired stuff. Oh, so that's it in terms of t-shirts. Yeah, uh, I am bringing along, uh, this is actually a birthday gift from my mum. Got me some very nice uh, plain t-shirts and I'm gonna bring along this one. I mean, I, <laughs> what are the chances? I'm bringing along, <laughs> I'm bringing along some running shorts in case I go to the gym. I mean, I am, try I am doing Couch to 5K uh, at the moment, but I, I don't know whether that's gonna <laughs> taking place uh, on the trip. Yeah, that's it in terms of clothes, so I better gather up uh, the other items in terms of like electricals and stuff, and then I'll uh, catch up with you. So I've just moved into the bedroom. I've just got some things on the bed in terms of like the electricals and some of the things are taken. So first thing is we need our annual passes. So here they are in all their glory with all of the badges on. Uh, we were mentioning on Instagram that unfortunately we've had a lot of bother with the company that supplies our badges who like does the printing for them so we're actually seeking a, a different company so the the ones we've got on our Etsy store at the moment uh, they're the original ones from that supplier um, but there's a limited number of those uh, before we then go on to a new supplier so if you want those head on over to our Etsy store they'll be the same designs and we're gonna try and keep them like as close as possible to these ones but yeah we just had to leave the other company because we've just been waiting on an order for forever and it's not the first time it's happened. So we've got Creepy Hyena, <laughs> we've got Santa from Ellis Woolley, we're all mad here. Uh, we've got Creepy Hand, although somebody was asking, are we going to change that to Stationary Hand? I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, we've got Slinky Dog, and then that's another one that somebody very kindly uh, sent for Helena. And then also, it's an up lanyard, and I love it so much. And got the new annual pass inside. And then mine's Toy Story, got the Infinity Pass there. And then I've got similar badges. Now I've got Sophie and Dave's chip badge as well. And then this is another Phantom badge that Helna got me from Etsy, I think. We've got all the bits for the camera. So we've got our memory cards. We keep them in this little box. That's actually what the, uh, the muffler, wind muffler came in. So we just keep our memory cards inside there. Then we've got multiple batteries which there's one here inside the charger one year i did forget the charger and i was very sad about it when it happened uh, i think we got three batteries in total to try and last us through the day but just in case we also bring portable chargers so we've got portable charger there and then we've also got this bigger one as well and then what's good is that this can uh plug in to the camera so if we uh, don't have any more batteries left and we like take a break and are just sitting down somewhere we can plug the as long as this is charged we can plug this into the camera and the camera will charge because we might go in the pool i might actually bring our gopro which we used in uh, walt disney world i don't know if i'll use it so much on the rides because i just tend to use this camera but yeah we'll bring it along and see this is a gopro i think it's eight got my sunglasses we're gonna need some sun cream. 
We always take along my laptop, so what we do is we bring a HDMI cable and then this adapter and then we can plug that into the TV and we can watch YouTube and anything else we want to watch. Disney Plus. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Got to bring my Buzz Lightyear bag as well. Uh, this is a gift from Helmer and I love it so much. It came with us to Walt Disney World. I wonder whether it's going to give me any edge in the Buzz Lightyear challenge. <laughs> So yeah, we'll uh, pop that in the bag as well. I'll be bringing that to the parks. Then I'll just have my toiletries, so you know, usual stuff, uh, deodorant, uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, all that jazz. In terms of documents, we'll have uh, our passports. I like to print off our travel insurance. I like to print off our um, breakdown cover as well. Our, and also uh, the, the, the insurance for the car. Uh, also I have the Eurolight beam reflectors. Uh, to put on the, the headlamps so I'm not blinding anybody on the road over in France. Um, also, we've got to uh, generate our uh, QR codes for our vaccines. Um, that's the only thing now that I have to pre-upload to the Eurotunnel website when I do my API, the additional passenger information. Uh, we, do, we do all that before so that we don't have to do it when we get there. Um, it just saves a little bit of time. So yeah, we'll upload that. I was very tempted to bring this. I love this. I got given this as a, a Christmas present uh, by Helmer's brother. Uh, and it, it's a game, so it's... Bob, it's a star. <laughs> I didn't know about such a thing, but uh, Helmer used to play Bop It. Uh, I think that's what it's called Bob, it's a star. when she was younger. High score, 92. Ooh. That's awful. I got 92 <laughs> before. That's quite uh, good for going on a road trip. Although I don't know whether it'll start to annoy the people that are with Maybe you. Maybe we should give it a rest, eh, Chewy? Okay, we'll put you down. <laughs> but I love that. <laughs> but I think that's it in terms of what we're taking. I mean, this camera, of course, we'll be bringing that uh, along with the tripod. So we'll have vlogs from the whole trip. Really excited to document it. it uh, to just take it all in. So yeah, I think uh, I'll see if Helena wants to add anything else to the pack with me, uh, and then we'll see you in a bit. I talked about socks, but I didn't talk about footwear. <laughs> it's really important to be comfy and to know that these are really comfortable shoes because you're gonna be walking a lot. So um, I'm gonna go for my tried and trusted trainers. So these are the trainers. I think I got them from uh, JD Sport. So I'll be bringing those, they're really comfy, I've ran in them, I've, I've walked in them, so I know that they're comfy. And then I think I'll bring these. So these, these are new, these are from my mum for my birthday. So I'm going to spend the weekend wearing them in <laughs> to know that they're going to do the job. If they don't, I've got these ones. Yeah, I could bring these ones if uh, I think the other ones are going to hurt at all. We're actually thinking of bringing some uh, two Disney mugs with us because the mugs in the hotel are really small and we do like a good cup of tea. <laughs> and we might not, we might not buy a new mug. Because <sighs> we're, 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 we're trying not to go crazy. However, <laughs> if there is one that jumps out at me, I gotta have it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know which ones to bring. I mean, this one's pretty, this one's cool. I think this one might have to go back with us. Uh, and maybe... Ratatouille? I'll, I'll ask Helmer. So the great thing about using the Eurotunnel, which we are, and we've been very kindly gifted uh, this journey uh, by Eurotunnel. Thank you so much. We've worked with them in the past. We love traveling by the Eurotunnel. Uh, it's our favorite way to travel. Um, and one of the reasons is because you don't have to worry if you've overpacked, because there's no uh, weighing of the suitcases. It's literally, you bring as much as you want, as much as fits in your car, you can take it with you. So it's a little bit later on. Helena's back now, but she's just chilling downstairs watching some YouTube and it's still hot. It's very humid. <laughs> um, but I double checked to make sure she got everything that she needs in the bag and she said yes. So I think we'll finish the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out how we've been getting on at Disneyland Paris, then you can uh, head to our Instagram pages. I'll put the names uh, down the bottom. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button and also subscribe. Toodle Pipski!